Hello. Um, I wanted to present uh, something very short, which I have been working on uh, for the last uh, couple of months. Um, I'm building a platform. Um, it's, it's also my company, and I'm building a platform on top of OpenStreetMap in which uh, people can get paid to um, propose and to, to, uh, to submit to OpenStreetMap or to review OpenStreetMap uh, edits. Um, the, the project is called uh, Place Bazaar, so it's uh, a place where people can buy and sell uh, OpenStreetMap data. Basically, uh, I want to pay contributors um, to uh, verify and maintain the OpenStreetMap data. Um, I want to connect parties who have requests for data, so people who, for example, want a campsite uh, database to be uh, full and uh, to have all the campsites on there. They can pay a euro, for example, uh, for everyone who adds a new campsite. Um, and last, but most importantly, I want to make the OpenStreetMap data uncensorable so that if uh, a central authority, um, the OpenStreetMap organization, or a government decides that the OpenStreetMap should be blocked, that that becomes impossible. Um, very short about blockchain. Uh, for those who don't know exactly what it is, uh, I'm not going to explain how it works, but basically it has three very important uh, features which help me in this. Um, no one is the owner. Um, it's peer-to-peer, -peer, so it's between people. There's no central authority, and that makes it uncensorable. Um, I'm building the uh, platform, the marketplace, in so-called smart contracts. So there, again, there is no central authority that's rooting the money and that's going to say, no, you cannot get the money. It's all between the person who wants to pay for an edit and, all, and the person who does the edit. Um, it's between them, and that's the contract. It, it's code, and it runs in the blockchain, so it's uncensorable. Um, I hope to incentiv uh, incentivize people, but also companies, to open up their data, to, in that way, uh, make some money out of it. I want to incentivize uh, new contributors or existing contributors to um, start mapping, or to help, or to continue mapping. And I want to incentivize reviewers to uh, check whether some edit is actually uh, going well. Um, also important um, is that someone can request extra verification. So, for example, if someone says that a hotel is on the corner of the street, um, someone re can request that other people go and actually check whether that hotel is there and then add proof and so that the fact that a hotel is on the corner of the street becomes more and more, um, sorry, becomes more and more uh, uh, known and more and more verified. And then those verifi verifiers have to be paid. Um, I'm not going to explain how I do this all. If you want to know more about it, just hook me up, uh, tap me on the shoulder and ask me, and I can explain it in a lot of detail um, um, during one of the social talks or during one of the breaks. For me, I have a couple of uh, challenges that I need to, uh, to work on. Um, in order to make the data uncensorable, the planet uh, PD PDF file or anything has to be sliced into much smaller parts uh, in order to be able to store that on a blockchain. Um, I, I'm releasing it on IPFS. Um, if anyone has any ideas on how to slice and dice uh, the, the database, please uh, tell me. And another thing that I'm working on right now is how to pay uh, OSM contributors that have been contributing in the past to pay them in retrospect. And a last thing, uh, if anyone knows about any similar project, any th similar things also, please let me know. Um, you can send me an email if you want. Um, I'll be releasing the white paper, which is basically the explanation of the whole platform uh, somewhere this summer. Um, yeah, you can send me an email if you want to know anything or just want to tell me that what I'm doing is really stupid. Okay.